hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so if you have not seen the part one of this video make sure you go check it out but anyway this is part two so this is just the makeup um that i did while my hair was setting in this slick hairstyle so first things first i'm gonna prime and i'm going in with this hangover primer um it's a hydrating primer it's just like lotion basically but it has coconut water in it just rubbing that in and then I'm gonna double prime and I'm going in with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Um, as you can see, I'm at the end of this and I'm ready to switch it up. So I'm going in with some concealer and I'm just gonna conceal my brows. Um, I noticed that when I conceal my brows first, I'm a less heavy handed on the brow pencil or whatever pomade I'm using for my brows. And so I think I prefer the natural look better because I just couldn't get <laughs> All the extra stuff down and so I'm just sticking with what's basic so here I'm just blending a concealer um, blending it in as much as possible so there aren't any lines of demarcation So next I'm going in with this brow pencil and I'm just lightly outlining my brows um, and I'm just filling it in like a tiny tiny bit and then at the front I'm creating hair like strokes and so this is a really natural brow and I'm not trying to overdraw it I'm not trying to draw over outside the hair whether my brows are even or not I'm just following <laughs> whatever is on my face <laughs> I'm just doing that so next I'm gonna be going in with this Too Faced the Born This Way foundation. This is in the color Spiced Rum. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Sometimes I think this is a good color for me. Sometimes I think it's a little too red. Um, I honestly just don't know. Does anyone else have trouble <laughs> figuring out their perfect, perfect foundation shade? Cause I'm just, I'm just not sure sometimes because my face is a different color than my chest also different than my neck I know a lot of people go off of their neck but I'm just like well my face is a different color than that so I just really don't know what to go off of and so I just use the products that I have next I'm going in with these concealers I'm going in with chestnut and maple same brand Too Faced Born This Way and maple is just a smidge lighter than chestnut Yeah, basically the concealer brush didn't do what I thought it was going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to end up going in with um, just a dry beauty blender by Real Techniques. And then I'm just going to blend all of that out. When all else fails, just blend. Trust me. If you're new to makeup and you don't want to stop, you want to keep going, just blend. It always works. Next, I'm just going in with some translucent powder um, that's close to my skin tone. I'm hitting my under eyes and then I'm gonna hit my lids. Here I'm just going in with Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep. I'm just setting my whole face.
Next, I'm going in with this contour palette by Black Radiance, and I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade and just create some shadow um, and some depth in my face just so it's not looking so flat so if you don't like to bring foundation down your neck and I just prefer to use my darker powder like under my chin area so that kind of makes everything look a lot more seamless then of course highlights by Milani you can buy it at Walmart um, Target as well and it's just a nice gold it's natural it's not too chalky not too glittery you can just basically put it everywhere Next, I'm going in with a setting spray. Of course, you can use any setting spray um, that you have. So if you feel like you're too powdery or too dusty, just spray a little extra spray. <laughs> That'll kind of balance all that powder out and melt it. Here, I'm just lining my lips with Bittersweet by MAC. So here I'm just going in with that brick red and brown. You can use any brick red or brown. Um, I'm just creating some depth in my crease area. It's not even a full eyeshadow look. So use any color of your choice. Next, I'm going in and create um, a nice wing. And I'm using this Revlon, I guess, pencil or pen. Um, and you can buy this at Walmart as well. It's pretty simple to use. Um, the tip has a nice, well, has enough give and it's not too saturated. So it's really easy to use. Then next I'm just gonna use a black eyeliner pencil to line my bottom lash line. Then I'm going in with this mascara because it's my favorite. And it's also, I think the only mascara I have in front of me right now too. So I typically don't put mascara on the top of my lashes. I just don't because number one, I'll get it on my eyelid and mess up the whole look. But also because mascara is just really hard to wash off. Here I'm just putting a little bit of that highlight in my inner corner. Then I'm going in with this lip color. This is by L'Oreal. Um, and it's in a number 72 or classic
right, so now I'm just removing my headscarf and that's honestly the whole look. So that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think and let me know if you're gonna try this hairstyle and makeup look out. So until next time, I will see you later.